afternoon, and uh, this is Jared Rand. Welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Thursday, July 12th, 2018, 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, in thinking about our uh, progression on meditation and the um, energy, uh, that we are uh, sending. You want to realize that the calmer and the more peace you put yourself in, the more the clarity of things will be. So, in a let, let's say that each time that you relax and you do absolutely nothing, you stop trying to achieve anything, period. And you, you start to feel a deep inner peace. Now, doing nothing, you see, we're, we're trained and, and we're, we're taught as humanity, that we always got to do something. You know, you've got to do something. You've got to be doing this or doing that. You can't just sit idle and do nothing. They were, we're trained. That's the slave mentality that's been instilled in humanity. Um, so each time you truly relax and you stop trying to achieve anything in this world, a miraculous sensation begins to rise. It's a feeling of deep inner peace. Now, doing nothing also means not touching the mind, not trying to micromanage the thoughts passing through. Instead, letting them appear and disappear as if they were just clouds in the vast open sky. Now, you enjoy the view, like you're sitting and watching a sunset, right? You enjoy the view, you sit back and you watch the mind from a distance. Right? You are in the theater watching the show, so to speak. So you, you don't touch the mind at all. You don't do anything. You stop everything and you just be still. Now when you truly do nothing and you desire nothing at all, you're not wanting anything, you're not desiring anything, you don't need, you just are separated. You, suddenly you discover a magical, limitless feeling inside. It's like a divine, spacious, cosmic energy that takes you, to just literally go, just takes you over. And only a relaxed, unfocused mind has enough space to let this in. The more you surrender to the experience of doing nothing, the more you'll feel you are one with everything and everyone. You, you, for that time period, you will lose those old habits of feeling separate, lonely, and isolated. You know, be, be open to a new experience of who you are. Now, Think about this. You, you are much bigger than the mind can imagine. No matter where you are, no matter what you are, with, what you're uh, doing with. Try this. Make some space in your day for you to quietly give yourself. It's basically an ultimate vacation. Let go of doing and becoming for at, you know 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Explore your most empty self. And you, you will become truly relaxed, at peace with all of life. And being breathed by life. And a lot of times this can be the most amazing experience available on earth. Period. So it's, you, you are becoming, you, you master yourself. You don't listen to the mind. Uh, the mind can't, doesn't comprehend these things. You become separate from the mind. Now, when we go in 
to our inner self, our heart center, on the meditation. I say, it, it, it's, you know, you breathe, and breathing is important to go into peace. As you go in through your heart center, and you go deeper and deeper and deeper, you, you're literally coming to uh, uh, peace, and you become closer and closer to peace, and once you find it, you stay with it. You embrace it. And this is what we're all about. Peace. Period. Doing nothing. And I don't mean a bunch of people sitting around with their eyes closed doing nothing forever. I don't mean that. What I mean is, is that you go into a space. This is, again, getting into a habit on a daily basis where you become masterful of you. That's important. And you're doing that by doing these meditations. You don't know it, but you're feeding the subconscious mind. You are becoming adept at mastering who you are. Just by doing simple meditation consistently with all of us on a daily basis. This is very profound, very impactful, very life-changing. And a lot of people kind of just look at it from a surface standpoint and don't absorb it through their hearts to understand what it means. When you become at peace, you are disconnecting, separating yourself from all of the crap and garbage, all of the, 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 the diversionary energies, all of the, 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 the conflict and uh, the negativities and stresses and fears and anxieties and physical ailments, all of those things are going away. They, they vaporize. Now, Siddhartha, Buddha, when, when he would meditate, he would meditate for ages and ages and ages, but he, what he did is he separated himself from the body. That's what he was doing. And he would travel. And he would find peace. Period. So, now think about this. Your ability to create is off the charts. Each and every one of you. You can create. The problem that we have, the root problem, the key problem, is that subconsciously we do not believe it. Consciously we may believe it, but subconsciously we don't believe it. The so subconscious dictates to our conscious mind. A lot of the times we don't even know that's going on because we have not taken command of our subconscious. Through these meditations, you're, 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 you're gradually doing that. And so when you desire something or you're asking for something in your life, you're not at peace, period. So you're not really focused. No matter how much you think you are, subconscious, and there's that little voice always, literally, no matter how hard you try, saying, no, it's not going to work. No, what if this happens? What if that happens? See, it's not working. See, I told you. Told you it wouldn't work. Told you it wouldn't work. And that's what happens. It happens to the majority of humanity on a daily basis. We have random thoughts. A lot, a lot of times we have random thoughts and we create things without our knowledge. So these meditations, the penetration they have, this gives you an insight on the vastness of and, and sim, how simple things are when you become one in peace. And that's what we're doing here with these meditations on a daily basis, is to move humanity into a masterfulness of peace. And when you do that, miraculous things effectively take place. You will be able to control your thoughts. You will be able to separate from your mind, and it is not all-seeing, and it is not all-knowing. The mind is not. You can rise above the mind through your heart center. And you can, can put and inject thought processes in the mind. We all have that ability. It's just that there's been so much done to humanity, so much extraction of understanding and diversion and rewriting of things that humanity is lost in that respect. So, Again, in this meditation, what we're looking at 
has, you know, we've, we've, we've uh, performed meditation with calmness, uh, we've done uh, peace meditations, and think about a becoming and an existing in nothingness. And I'm not trying to confuse or complicate anything, but floating with not a care, with not a uh, fault, with not a worry, uh, stress, anxiety. For this moment in this meditation, totally floating, we'll call this a floating meditation, where you, all of us in humanity, become in a way separated from our thought process. We, limp, we, we move beyond the thought. When you, we go in through the heart center, and that's what we're gonna do right now, everybody uh, will, will begin to go in through the heart center. You want to empty your mind, you want to get rid of all, anything that you can, that you can identify that you don't need. Anything that's negative, anything that drains you, get rid of it. Let it vaporize and go off to the central sun. You want to relax the body from head to toe. Drop the shoulders, relax even your baby toe all the way down. You have no concerns, you have no worries for this period of time, no stresses, no anxieties. No fears. You breathe in positive divine energy through your nose. You exhale through the mouth. You're, you're breathing in and holding it for a few seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. This is bringing in divine positive energy. This is bringing in calmness, peace. This is bringing in prosperity, masterfulness. This is bringing in joy and bliss. This is bringing in super excellent health. This is bringing in all positive, uplifting, intensified vibrational frequencies. This is elevating you as we speak, as you breathe this in and it saturates your very existence. You exhale all of the negative attachments, all of the influ influence of energies, lower vibrational experiences that pull you down and cause you frustration, fear, anxiety. All of those things are being expelled out. They're being neutralized by the purple transmuting flame and they're being sent back to the central sun. Now, you want to go into your heart center. You want to go deep because the deeper you go, the closer you become in total calmness and peace, totally. And understand that you are, you're moving, you're going to move beyond the mind, beyond your mind, and through your heart. This is a different experience. This allows you to detach from your mind and move above it, to look at it, to move outside yourself and look at yourself and to see and to view. So you go deeper and deeper until you hit, you come into the vortex and everything is sparkling, glittering, and reflecting in the golden white, pink light, purple transmuting flame, saturating you in eternal love. Saturating your very existence in eternal love. Now, you see your higher self and you join with your higher self. When we all join with our higher selves, we become in complete contact with each other's higher selves. The communication. We ask each other permissions to talk with each other and ask if we can, you know, land different energies and so on and so forth. So we're all in communication. Now what we want to do is call in all of the uh, archangels of love and from love, all of the cherubim, the seraphim, all of the ascended masters, all of the uh, fairies, all the sprites, all of the uh, loved ones who have passed on, who are of love and from love, and all of the light beings who are of love and from love, from love, of love, eternal love, are all coming in to join us. Now we're, we all, arm in arm, float up. And while we're floating up, we are protected 
in a perfect sphere and bubble of the golden white pink light purple transmuting flame uh, prime source creators eternal love the only thing that can penetrate these bubbles these spheres is eternal love so if we float up above the planet we see our meditative sphere the sphere is reflecting and glittering in the golden white pink light and purple transmuting flame and it is housing all of our meditations and keeping them in perpetual motion since we started this last February 12th. So now we're floating and we're arm in arm above the planet. And we, be, we bring in the golden white pink light, purple transmuting flame rain that saturates us and allows us to step outside of ourselves. So in other words, we all come out and we float above our bodies, our physical bodies. We float above them. And we become one with our heart. And as we're doing this, all of humanity is doing this because they have joined in. We have invited their higher selves to join in. So as they're physically doing and going about their days and experiencing life, we all are, we move out from the physical field and we watch. It's easy to do, it's simple. And you just you picture it. And you watch the physical form and you realize that you're separated and that you have gone into nothingness, total peace and calmness, nothingness. You aren't, you, you've, you've separated from your mind. You aren't uh, thinking anymore. You're just being. You're in oneness. You're in being. It is a just phenomenal feeling when you're there because you'll feel it. And, I, and all of you should start to feel underneath your rear end and, and back to your legs, a lifting going on. Some, some lifting is subtle, some is more pushing. And as that lifting goes through, you will begin to realize that you are, you, you're doing nothing. You are detached from the mind, so you're not thinking. Uh, all those thoughts are just running randomly without any interruption. And, and through your heart center, you're experiencing through your heart you're experiencing nothingness you're experiencing doing nothing thinking nothing and total separation and in total peace and calmness and you feel that and take it in feel it saturate you feel it uplift you it's it when you do this it becomes your heart desire. You, you realize the, 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 how the feeling you get, it's, it's indescribable. So for this is what humanity is now doing along with us. We're all participating in this and we're floating. There's not a care, there's not a worry, there's not a stress. All of those things are in the mind. We have moved ourselves outside the mind and above. We're in total peace and calmness. Total peace, total calmness. No riffraff, no noise, no nothing. So for this, this the rest of this meditation, we will all just float and bask in that total peace and calmness through our heart. And I will join in the meditation and I will be back to close out. I will stop the recording for several minutes and feel free to put your device on hold and then I will bring Jared back for the wrap-up. Now this, this imaging that's been impressed with you as far as your experience here today and the, uh, from your heart, uh, from your heart center and removing yourself from the mind of being above it um, frees you in a lot of different ways 
and the effects are far-reaching and a very positive, uplifting, higher vibrational frequency that allows you to uh, expand uh, your heart center and expand your awareness from your heart center. And as you understand, the heart and the mind are separate channels, separate minds uh, apart from each other. In fact, the heart has been proven to have more energy and more power than the mind. So this allows you to go into a place whenever you choose where you are just floating and you are in total calmness and peace and you don't hate, there's nothingness. There's no thoughts, those are all random, they're just going by, you're separated. Uh, you are focused in a place of total peace and calmness. It's just, it's completely quiet. There's no noise, there's no interference. You are just literally floating. And imagine today, that's what humanity did with their higher selves, that's what we have done. And this energy is far reaching. So it, it continues to today to uplift humanity, increase the vibrational frequency fields uh, with us and with everybody, and make for the rest of your day to be much calmer and much more peaceful and much quieter. So um, I will be doing a information call Friday uh, tomorrow and uh, yeah I believe that's Friday tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern and uh, we'll do I'll do a press uh, a, a little talk and then we'll go into Q&A like we always do so I want to wish each and every one of you a perfect health and perfect calmness and perfect peace and perfect prosperity, perfect abundance, perfect riches and perfect quiet, perfect bliss, perfect joy. When you're in nothingness, all of that physical crap that we take with us on a daily basis is gone. Think about that. It's all gone. This strengthens, this, this gives us much higher strength, much more ability to look beyond this illusion, this physical field, and to go where we always are at through our God spark. So, God bless each and every single one of you. And we will return tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, Friday, July 13th, 2018.